I'm Dr. Pete Economo, the East Coast psychologist. And I'm Dr. Nikki Rubin, the West Coast psychologist. And this is When East Meets West. We're going to break down mindfulness because as we have said multiple, multiple times here on When East Meets West, all roads lead to mindfulness. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Pete. Yeah, we. I, I, was, I was just thinking maybe at some point we're going to have to like draw like a map, like a dorky little like, Wouldn't that be- map. Maybe we'll okay. change our icon. Yeah, that's what, except I love our icon so much, but it's just, I mean, all roads really do lead to mindfulness. All do. You know? And so today we're going to address this, I, this concept of beginner's mind, mm-hmm. which I guess is probably a Western behavioral practice. Uh, I don't really know the origins of that say, I don't know. Did Linehan start that? Beginner's mind. Oh, I, I actually thought that that came Straight out From, of Zen Buddhism, yeah. Maybe it did. Honestly, I, think I don't. It, like that's that's by my that's been my understanding of how okay, I learned well, it. That that's here we are when East meets yeah. <laughs> West, and uh, I I honestly I'm not 100 percent sure. We'll have our fact checkers check that for us. Uh, <laughs> but the uh, beginner's mind will 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 talk about today, which is which is just as it suggests, is beginner's mind. So one of the ways I like to describe it. Well, how do you describe it? Let me start with that first. Sure. I'll just go. So, and, and I'll say, like, I love that we're having this, this conversation today because it's like one of my favorite things to talk about. Yeah. Um, Cause I find it just consistently like very grounding. So beginner's mind is what is cultivated in a mindful practice. So not just when you're sitting down to meditate formally, but you know, in any moment, it's this idea of coming to each moment with as if it's the first time. Yeah. Right. So with beginner's mind. So, you know, I, I've, I've been taught before often to kind of think about it, like think about how children come to things, right. Yeah. Like that they with like, it's, there's an openness, a freshness, like, yeah. you know, um, you know, one of my favorite, uh, behavioral practices is a curiosity, right. Yeah. So that's how I explain it to people that you're trying to bring this open awareness, just like when you're new with something to each thing, even if it's something you've done a million times before. Yeah. And so I, uh, Shoshin is the Japanese word from Zen Buddhism. So here okay. I am. As <laughs> I <was> said, <laughs> my teacher is so proud of me right now. Uh, so that's where, the, yeah, that's, that, there are the origins of it. And uh, Shoshin uh, translates as beginner's mind. And it is the idea that there's this openness, eagerness, or like, I love, and I borrowed that a lot from you back to curiosity. Yeah. You know, how curious can it be about a new moment? A mm-hmm. kid's mind is a good example. I often, one of the metaphors I use is like just touring a city that you've lived mm-hmm. in with somebody from the outside. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Because everybody's had that experience. You yes. know, I, I grew up in New York. And then when I have people coming to visit, it's still so cool walking around with them. Totally. Yeah, yeah totally. Did you, did you experience that while you lived in New York? I, d- I did a little bit. Yeah, I certainly, um, and I would experience when I would come back to visit LA, it was like yeah. a freshness of like, things I hadn't actually, that, to be honest, it was more that way. It was like, oh, I'd come back right. and be like, you know, especially if I was visiting in winter time, you know, and it'd be like <laughs> 65 here. And I just, the fr- I was like, I can't, wow. It's like so bright and sunny. And I can't believe I thought this was cold, you know? And yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, but, but I think it, it's interesting, like that example, Pete um, is, you know, I'm sure a lot of people connect with it it's like, that's very tangible. And it's sort of like, we don't have to work as hard in those situations, right? Like if if someone's visiting you in your city and you're showing them around, yeah, like it's, it's kind of easy to connect through their eyes of like seeing it with a beginner's mind. But I think it's a lot, what's hard (laughs) for most people is to come to things like just day to day, like with that kind of curiosity, right? Like if you're, you know, I don't know, like you're sitting down to do your job and it's Well, especially if you're like a nine to five and it's a state office and you know, you're, you're, well, and, and I, that seems to me to be because then I'm stuck in my suffering. So, say more about that. Cause I think that maybe would be potentially unclear. To yeah. Us. So like beginner's mind also allows for that, that almost like a cleansing, like you no longer have mm. preconceptions to what you're about yes. to do. Uh huh. However, if I'm stuck in a nine to five or something that I'm not super passionate about, Mm -hmm. I'm just stuck in that suffering. So Mm -hmm. I'm not actually, I'm not giving myself the opportunity to let go of it, right? One of the things we say is that suffering that I believe is that suffering uh, is because we're holding on to something from the past or anxious about the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so if I'm, if I'm say again, in this example, stuck at this nine to five that I'm not thrilled about, I'm just stuck on that. Like, why am I here? Why didn't I do this Mm -hmm. to then get somewhere else? Where am I going? Yeah. It shuts down. (laughs) 
shuts down the curiosity, right? It, it, it like narrows and narrows the perspective that if you're stuck in 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 your suffering, what I'm hearing you say is that that um, that it just it just narrows things, right? right? So it's like the beginner's mind would be to say like, okay, let me open up to like the infinite possibility of like, I don't know what the next moment is, right? right. Like letting go of yeah. the assumption of like, it's going to be like this, it's going to suck, it's going to be terrible or. Yeah. You know. And I also feel like it holds on to that judgment, you know, the it, judgment yes. of myself, the judgment of my experience, yes. of my identity, of my accomplishments or lack thereof. Yes. Um, so in my, in, in my new book, um, mindfulness workbook for beginners um, I actually just have a little like caveat on that and I I call it always a beginner and I say in mindfulness we all have a beginner's mind we see things as they are for the first time each time we see them it's like and here's the example I just already gave you it's like walking around your hometown with a tourist and seeing things as if you've never seen them there before we do not have to be experts in anything we just have to be open to this experience in this moment And we don't have to know the answer to questions related to why you have permission to not know. That is such a central part of this, that last piece. Like the the why. Yeah. That like letting, giving yourself permission to not know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, and you know, and of course I just have to like side note, Jewish mother, like say how proud (laughs) I am. (laughs) Say how extremely proud I am of Pete with this book. And, and when I, you know, when I, I told him like when I read the book, I I of course got like very verklempt and tear up because I was like couldn't believe somebody. Nikki does before. that, but go ahead. I, I do it, but I also <laughs> was like it was so good. And and actually one of the some of the feedback I gave him was that even though it is a book for for beginners, and I've practiced mindfulness for yeah how many years? I don't know thirteen years I think long time yeah, yeah long time yeah. Um, I took so much from the book because it, like because I actively connect with and practice beginner's mind and, and, and I'm willing to let go of being the expert about it. Like, I don't have to know that there was stuff I was learning in this, even though. This is making me uncomfortable, Nikki. (laughs) (laughs) Just just step into it, Pete. I'm stepping into it. Step into it. Listeners, I'm stepping into it. Step into it. Thank you. Thank you. But but I want to use this to illustrate. It's like, with that piece of like, you don't have to know, like, it's okay not to know. And there's, you know, and we just spoke about this in our last episode about freedom, right? There's freedom in not knowing, you know, like, I, you know, recently yeah. Dr. Fauci uh, was quoted as saying, you know, there was freedom in being able to get up there on the podium in a press briefing. He literally said it was so liberating to say, like, if you don't know the answer, you just say you don't know the answer. That's right. <laughs> oh, I remember that when I first started teaching, I felt like I had to know every answer. Yeah. I got yeah. anxious to teach. And then now it's like, it's nice to model this idea of like, I don't know everything, you know, especially with these devices, we can look it up. That's for sure. Sure. But, and we're not going, we can't know any. We, we can't, can't know everything. everything. We're not well, meant think, to know everything. No, no, we're not. I mean, our, our poor little brains, I mean, they oh, wouldn't be able to tolerate, but my like brains exhausted half the time. <laughs> uh, totally. But it's, <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. Um, but yeah, I think like that, that's also such a like beautiful. And like I said, central component to beginner's mind, because if you're a beginner, you're saying, I don't know. Yeah. So it's like, can you come back to this moment and let go of knowing, let go yeah. of saying it's going to be this way, or this is how it's going to turn out. And that's so hard yeah. for human brains to do because, you know, we, we think we know, right? Well, like I, however- that's, Yeah. Well, that's why I like that you brought the child into it. I also write about that a little bit as mm-hmm. if some examples, because we all have an inner child and I, mm-hmm. we forget to connect with that, but children are curious, you yes. know, that curiosity leads them to the oven and dangerous places, <laughs> you know? So that's why we have to watch for them. Uh, and it's important to have that curiosity that you're going through life because otherwise that's why life becomes monotonous. Life yeah. becomes monotonous because I get stuck in the monotony. Well, you know, it's funny as you're saying that I'm thinking this is where it's like people unintentionally trap themselves is that get stuck in the monotony and um, as a result of not being curious because curiosity to your point about <laughs> children, you know, like that yeah. opens them up to like get like touching the stove is, is risk-taking. You know, we've yes. talked about that on this podcast before, right? That yes, yes. if, if you're going to, if you're going to be open and willing, you're opening yourself up to like all the things, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, and brains you are like, no, 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 what? Yeah. can't choose. Right. And brains yeah, are like, yeah. no, no, I'd like to open myself up to the things that feel really good. Yeah. It's like, well, that'd be then, nice. That's nice. But then that's, that's not being open. So then people go, okay, I'll just shut it down. That's right. And then that shutting it down, they, they suffer, you, miss right? out you on, get stuck. You suffer and you miss out on positive things. I mean, I think that's the sure. key with this stuff. And that's why 
to have that inner child, to have that curiosity, just that openness to let go of, of what you're, you know, I, when I lived in the city and I would just watch people commuting, mm-hmm. I like watching people. Do you like watching people? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, mo- most people, most people do. I mean, do they? Is that a thing? I yeah. Cause yeah. it's like, a, well, we like human, we're social species, you know, we're social like, species. So we like to yeah, just yeah. observe, but I, I, yeah, I mean, I, and I would just, but I would go a little bit deeper than mm-hmm. just, you know, and sure. just think like, what, what, you know, you could see people suffering sometimes, Yes. you know, yeah. or, you know, like the hustle and bustle of like schlepping to the train or the bus and, and for what, you know, and I think that's a rewind, this recalibration that many of us are doing for longer than we would like during mm-hmm. a pandemic mm-hmm. to say like, what is this all about? Mm-hmm. Why am I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know that there's going to be the same schlepping that there was. I mean, maybe, five, 10, 15 years, we get back to it because we forget like this little amnesia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And none you of us. Like, pre- yeah. I mean like the, he- when you're saying like the schlepping, like, are you meaning like, you're meaning like the suffering part, like the heaviness, the like. Yeah. Like, the- yeah and the quite, yes, the heaviness and the literal schlepping of like, where am I rushing to? Mm. That's another thing I write about is like, wh- when you're rushing, it's like you get there, then what? Because totally. then you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're probably then just waiting for that next thing that you have to get to. Well, that's what it is, right? Like, there's yeah. also like this, you know, this silly human belief we all um, <laughs> hold dear to our hearts, which is like, we can just like put the pedal to the metal and like yeah. fast forward through time, you know? And it's just like, no, uh, it's like time's moving at the same pace, whether we like it or not, you know? Like, even though it feels like it's standing still <laughs> during the sure, pandemic. <laughs> sure does. It sure does. Though it's like the reality was like, you know, a second still a second. Like it's not, it's yeah. we're not, we don't control that. We don't control that. Our perception of our time, our experience, and our suffering does. Boom. There yes. it is. So that's bring, <laughs> that, that brings yes. it into some of the Western behaviorism of like, that's what our 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 belief system, our experiences mm-hmm. that we bring into this, that's what shapes really how we see things. Uh, and I think that that's where beginner's mind comes in of like, can I let that go? I don't, you know, if I've been to this place 20 times, can I just be there this 21st time as if it's the first? Yes. And and I want to add to, cause like, just kind of going back to what you're saying, like about the schlepping, it's like, I always imagine people hearing that going like, okay, so I won't schlep. And then like every moment will be really great on the way yeah, to uh, work, you know? Yeah. And it's like, I think, so remembering that like beginner's mind means coming to the moment with openness and curiosity, Yeah. but coming to the moment as it is. Right. Yeah. And that moment might be unpleasant. Like you might be bored, but it's like bored is different than like bored and like resigned, you yeah. know, like sad as different than like, you know, despair. Yeah. They're different. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think that's something, you know, again, like just to, <laughs> just, you know, the brain's tricky, you know, yeah. it's like, I want people to keep remembering that what we're asking them to do is not to like practice these things so that life becomes free of struggle. It's like we're trying to distinguish between pain and suffering, right? Yeah. I, I, I had some, uh, some work done like in the basement and, like these things usually go, they had to cancel and had to mm-hmm. reschedule and then they were late again. And, mm-hmm. and, um, at the end of the job, he said, you know, I really have to thank you, uh, because like you were so great to work with, you know, because you were communicative and, you know, you, you really worked with me and you were in, like, you embraced this, this cancellation. And I was like, mm-hmm. you know, in my mind, I'm like, what's the alternative, you know? And I, and I, mm-hmm. him he, hearing that feedback, I know people get so frustrated with, sure. with, you know, workers or, cause these things never go as we plan. We've talked about totally. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know? And so every time I do a new project or just like whether how big or small it's like this is the first time you know, <laughs> yep. i've learned you know so beginner's mind doesn't mean like i'm like literally you, you don't forget yeah, I you don't, don't forget. Get, you don't get you don't get amnesia <laughs> you don't get amnesia i'm not like sucking yeah. my thumb as i'm talking to these people no 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 <laughs> i remember no. like you know i remember like bidding out things and organizing sure, you know, sure. organizing lists and do my own sure. research and things like that you know however i embrace and accept that these things will happen uh and will you know Inevitably, the beginner's mind allows me to take a little bit of what I learn and then go into that new experience in a way that I can probably be as really effective. Yeah, because you're you're not, um, you know, and I'm, I would love to hear uh, the the Buddhist um, uh, sort of perspective with this is like because you're not attached to an outcome. 
That's right. right? It's like, yeah. that's a beginner's mind is also like you're saying, it's like not having amnesia for, for the past, right? Like you're, right. you're, we want to learn from the information we have available with us up until this moment in time right. and then opening up and saying, and like, I don't know what's going to come of this moment. I'm not no. attached. It's like, it doesn't, it, you know, what's happened in the past, you know, I could make educated guesses of my, what might happen though. Right. Th- that doesn't, that doesn't mean that's going to happen. It's like the letting go of assumptions. And that's process and outcome. Because again, mm-hmm. I, I could think of a listener being like, well, what do you mean, Dr. Rubin? Like, you know, mm-hmm. you want, you want, he wanted the project done in the basement, you mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of course, you know, what, yes. what I'm doing is I'm going into the process with a beginner's mind, you know, um, and again, that's just one example. We could apply this to everything. The <laughs> to everything yeah. That was like to, be, to being alive. Yeah. Well, in that listen part- to se- episode 32, <laughs> season one, where behaviorism is everything. Yeah. <laughs> Getting, we're getting better at that part. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so no, what, what you're, what Pete's saying here is like uh, the process, not the outcome. It's like, so that's a, that's a saying Pete and I use quite a bit that comes yeah. from, from Buddhist thought, right. Which is that we, we own the process, meaning we own what we do in this moment, because this is the only moment very literally that we have agency over. It's the only moment we're ever experiencing. And yeah, we, we are doing certain things in this moment to try to influence outcomes, right? That's right. Though we're constantly remi- reminding ourselves, but we can't know what that outcome is going to be. We, we never ne- know. We can never know. We got to just know. get into it. Yeah. Well, Nikki, this was great. And uh, we will we will apply Beginner's Mind to season two. So welcome. This was uh, thinking about Beginner's Mind. And I leave you with just thinking about Shoshin, the Zen Buddhist teaching. And to be present, be brave, and remember to always stay curious. This has been When East Meets West. I'm Dr. Pete Economo. And I'm Dr. Nikki Rubin. Be present, be brave. This has been When East Meets West. All material is based on opinion and educational training of Drs. Pete Economo and Nikki Rubin. Content is for informational and educational purposes only.